Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene, at a different angle. I actually have my card table set up in my kitchen dining area because I am going through the clothing that I have gotten so far. And look what I'm doing. I am bagging the clothing with the people's name. This is Ben and Jason from New York. So when I pull something from one of those bags, then I know who to thank and who to give a shout out to. So I have them separated. I have Julie's bag here. I have Kim's bag of buttons. So exciting. I am going to try a very quick upcycled fashion, a no-sew t-shirt to halter. I have seen it by Kulerpa. I will link down below to her video. Her t-shirt looks longer than the one I have, and she's a little skinny mini, so I don't know if it just looks good because it's on her. <laughs> I will be trying to make this for my larger mannequin and will be modeling it on her. Very simple. I'm going to just try it on camera with you. I have been asked before, why don't you try it first and then show us if it's good? The reason I don't do that is because if I try it and I don't like it, I'm not going to have a video. And I'm pretty fussy sometimes. I second guess things and it's like, oh, that's not good enough. But if I go ahead and record it, once it's recorded, it's like, so what? So what if people think it's not great? It doesn't have to be great. I'm just trying things. The other thing is, if I like it and I'd want to recreate it, well, that means I have to use up two shirts. Things that I will not be wearing, and not everything is going to sell on eBay. So anyway, I just don't want to be using up clothing. So I do it once with you guys, in front of you guys, and you have to suffer through the agony if it's a fail, just like I do. Julie sent two t-shirts in her bag of clothing and there was a red one and an orange one. The orange one was a little bit longer, so I'm going with the orange one. The writing and on the back will not show for this project and I will be keeping the upper part of the t-shirt because I don't know what I might want to do with that later. I'm thinking I can do things sometimes with the neck just gonna have so much fun or the fabric can go into whatever t-shirt quilt that I make later on so let's just go on over to the sewing table even though we don't have to sew and let's cut this up I'll slap it on my mannequin and we'll see if we have a hit or a miss we start by laying your t-shirt flat and we're just going to cut from under the armhole across Now we're going to just find the center at the hem. I'm just going to fold it, pinch where the center is, right here. Just going to mark the center. And now in the video that I watched, she cut the neck six inches. I'm going to do eight inches because I can always cut more after if needed. So what I'm going to do is take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure out four inches on each side of the pin. And then four inches in this direction. And I'll just use this pin to mark it. So now we have an eight inch spot right here. Now we're going to start with the scissors just above the hemline. I'm just going to make a little snip. And now my scissors fit. I am going to cut all around this hemline close to the finished edge all the way around until I get back to this pin so I can take this pin out now so I don't hurt myself with that one I'm going to stop at that pin now I'm just going to find the center of this piece that we just cut and I'm going to cut it in half at the end. Those become the straps. Now we want to find the center of the back. So I'm going to take the neck piece that we made from the hem and I'm just going to put that together and I'm going to lay it down in this direction. See this is the part that we left and that we cut. This is going to be the front of the halter and now this is going to be the back and I'm just going to cut down the back. And we are done. Let's go upstairs and see how this looks on the mannequin. 
First, maybe I should tell you how you wear it. When you open it up, this part goes around the neck, and then you take the top corners in the back and tie those together. You know what? I think this came out really cute. I mean, it's a five minute project. Now, I did cut, let me turn this. I did cut the neck a little bit more because the fabric, when I left this eight inches, was more up here. And it just didn't seem to want to drape as nicely. So I cut it a little bit more. I probably left like four or five inches. And I stretched the hem so that it would roll. This would be a good project to do a lettuce hem on. And then this is what it looks like in the back. You just tie the two straps behind your neck and then you just tie the shirt together in the back. Now, alternately, what you could do, if this is too tight, the tighter this is, the less drapey the shirt is in the front, you could make a little hole on each corner and cut a thin piece of t-shirt, tie a knot into that, like tie a string of t-shirt into the hole, let that hang, do that on both sides, and then you could tie those two strings together, or you could stitch them on by hand if you wanted to. But I'm going to leave it as is. Please don't mind the wrinkled skirt. That's actually a skirt that I used to wear. It's, the lighting is bad here. Just one of the many hippie skirts that I made. I will be making some for eBay too. I like it very much. This is just uh, a pucker from my handiwork there, my thumb maybe. I think this is a pretty good project for it taking five minutes and no sewing machine. <laughs> so let me take some pictures and then I'll talk to you downstairs. I wanted to talk to you just for a second about this project. I think for just cutting and putting on, it's a really cute project. Now, yes, it might be a little too flared to wear braless, but what a perfect top to go over a bathing suit top. I would love to do a sewn version of this because I would probably sew the back together and then just have it be a halter that you put on over your head. But what Kulerpa did for hers, she made three different ones, but for the one that she made where it was kind of snug to tie it like this one was, she glued the corners together with fabric glue. I do have some fabric glue, but I didn't feel like waiting for that to dry and all that. So I just tied it. Another thing you could do to the hem, you could always fringe it and just pull each little fringe and it will curl. So that would be really cute. So I may be making another one of these down the road, just with a different... Excuse me. How do the junk calls find my cell phone? So I will link down below and in the comments to Kulerpa's video. If you want to go and check hers out, if not, the third one she made, I think I'll be making in the near future, depending on how many t-shirts I get to play with. So that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you again, Julie, for this shirt and for the other clothing that you sent. And I did get some more packages today. I will be doing my next mail opening on Friday. Thank you so much to everyone who has sent clothes. I appreciate it very much.